morning, I'm Hannah Bueller. Planting the financial seeds to better nutrition for low income families and other at risk communities here in Western New York. Congressman Brian Higgins announcing $3 million in federal money to help improve access to fresh, locally grown produce. It will also help improve technology associated with SNAP benefits. Our Jocelyn Person has more on how this will help a lot of people make ends meet. Western New York received almost $3 million in funding to improve access to fresh foods, and many are saying that it's a way to combat the food inflation. Congressman Higgins is joining other organizations in announcing a four-year federal grant of almost $3 million to improve access to fresh food. No family should have to worry about where their next meal is going to come from. Uh, thanks. Uh, to this grant, families living in food deserts will have increasing options for purchasing affordable, fresh, and healthy foods. The grant is meant for low-income families to be able to afford nutritious foods. The federal funds will also expand into SNAP benefits by investing in the Double Up Food Bucks program to address food insecurities in communities. Feed more in Western New York's mobile farm market trucks is part of the mission. Bringing the program to where people live I um, into neighborhoods. We, we work with a, a bunch of corner stores on Buffalo's east side. We work with some locations on Buffalo's west side. Um, but we're always looking to, to grow our footprint here in Buffalo and, of course, in other parts of western New York. The founder of African Heritage Food Co-op is also jumping on board in fighting food insecurities. He says many disadvantaged communities are being victimized by food prices. So he's going to turn this abandoned building into Fruit Belt's very own one stop and shop. We want to make sure that you have food for life, not food for death, right? And that's why this is going to be a full service grocery store, not a corner store, right? We're going to be uh, focusing on people eating to live. Folks don't have a whole lot of money and people shouldn't be choosing between eating and lights, eating and gas, eating and, and taking care of their children, right? So that, that's our, our motive. Jocelyn Person, 7 News, Buffalo.